To solve this question, we need to use cross multiplication to turn these two fractions into one single strain of an equation. So we're going to first cross multiply this denominator to this numerator, giving us 52 times m minus 2, and then set that equal to the cross multiplication of the other numerator and denominator, 1 times 15 plus m. And now we can do distributive property. So we'll have 52 times m will get us 52m, and 52 times 2 would give us 104. And if you want to double check that, I did some mental math. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 5 is 10. Add those two together, you get 104. But if you want to do it the standard way, you could go like this also. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 5 is 10. On the other side, anything times 1 is just itself. So this will just equal 1 times 15 is 15, plus 1 times m is m. Now we can use opposite operations to combine like terms. We have 104 is being subtracted from 52m, so the opposite operation is adding it to both sides. These will cancel, giving us 52m is equal to 15 plus 104 would give us 5 plus 4 is 9, 1 plus 0 is 1, and then we'd have 1 left over, so we have 119 plus m. Then m is being added to 119, so the opposite would be subtracting it from both sides. These m's will cancel, leaving us with 51. m is equal to 119. And then our last step, 51 is being multiplied to m, so the opposite operation is dividing both sides by 51. These will cancel, leaving us with m is equal to 119 over 51. Now, we just need to simplify this fraction, but that's not going to be as easy as it looks, because I don't often think about the factors of 119 or the factors of 51. So let's take a look at our answer choices to get some clues. All of the denominators in our answer choices have the number 3. So that means 3 is a factor of 51, and the number we need to divide both the top and bottom by to get the most simplified answer will be the same thing as 51 divided by 3. So let's do that. 3 goes into 5 one time. 3 times 1 is 3. Then we subtract and get 2 and bring down our 1. 3 goes into 21 seven times evenly with no remainder. So that means a common factor for both 119 and 51 should be 17. So now what we need to do is figure out what 119 divided by 17 is. And I think the fastest way to do that is to look again at our answer choices for clues. If we were to multiply 5 to 17, that means our first digit would either be 5 or 0, as is the rule with multiplying by 5s. But our first digit is 9, not 0 or 5. So we can eliminate answer choice A as an option. And we can continue going like this. 7 times 7, would that give us a first digit of 9? It would. It would give us 49. So that is a very viable option. What about 4 times 7? Well, that would just give us 28, which would not give us 9 as our last digit of that number. 8 times 7 would give us 56, also not the number we are looking for. So just by doing that, you can reasonably assume that answer choice B is your correct answer and move on with the rest of the test. But for the sake of the video, let's fully do that multiplication to see it become 119. If we do 17 times 7, we have 7 times 7 is 49, carry the 4. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11. So when we divide 119 by 17, we will get 7. 7 over 3, making answer choice B our correct answer.